it. You know, it's like, uh, you know, our Catholic iconography, you see our lady stepping on the snake, right? And you see St. Michael the Archangel stepping on the head of Satan. And people that are just religious and not spiritual, they go to St. Michael and say, thank you, St. Michael, for stepping on the head of Satan. Thank you. Thank you, Our Lady, for stepping on the head of the snake. But the teaching of the iconography is you step on it. It's telling us, step on the snake, step on Satan. It's not St. Michael that has to step on the devil. It's us, it's me. I have to step on it. I have to put the foot on the head of the devil. I have to put the foot on the snake. And, and that's what they are teaching us. They're teaching us to step on it. So Satan is fear because Satan is sin. And sin brings fear. You see, the most common attitude we have with sin is indifference, is a hardened heart. That's what sin brings into your life. You become indifferent, insensitive. You, your heart becomes hard as a rock. And that's a way of escaping. It's like your conscience sleeping. Conveniently so, because you don't want to feel the responsibility of sin. So, fear can become a rock, can harden your heart. See, sometimes people are so afraid, they end up not feeling anything. See? You see, a, uh, a person that kills a hitman can go and kill a human being, and come back and have a steak and go to bed and not to feel anything because already overcame the fear of killing. But the fear is never left. It's just that it's hidden. It's covered up with the indifference. And that's how people commit adultery. That's how people become thieves. And all kinds of sins that are horrible are done because fears are locked in in the heart become indifferent and harden the heart. So 